It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, mid-Michigan spirited sports debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass on Fox 47. We're down to four unbeaten teams in Division I college football, and Michigan State is no longer one of them. After an aerial assault at Purdue, Michigan handcuffs the Indiana Hoosiers in the second half and stayed hot on the heels of East Division leader Ohio State. College basketball begins Tuesday with the Spartans in the Champions Classic in New York. The Tigers have a new number one catcher. And for the first time this season, the Lions did not lose. To talk about that and more, it's time to welcome Team 423, Rico Beard, longtime Detroit radio and TV personality, recruiting insider, and co-host of The Valeni Show with Rico on 97.1 The Ticket. Rico, how are you? Jack, I'm doing a lot better than the uh, team coming back from Purdue, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm good. A um, little bit of a shock, but not really. I think the BIM don't break finally broke. It was like the levees gave way yesterday, but uh, I'm good. How are you, Jack? I'm fine. I, I made that trip with Bob Trippy and uh, got back late last night, but it was a good time for fall back, getting an extra hour. I did appreciate that. And uh, Michigan State got some real work to do, Rico, in terms of that pass defense. Yeah, keep chopping. Uh, how about uh, start uh, guarding people? How about knocking down passes? How about doing something? That keep chopping mantra, yeah, they're going to have to because that, in the secondary, Aiden O'Connell, I mean, is he going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Was that Patrick Mahomes or Aiden McConnell? I don't know. Well, they used to say that Purdue was the cradle of quarterbacks, and I don't think anyone ever thought Aiden O'Connell would be part of that paragraph, but he sure looked like it yesterday. Maybe the also line, joined yeah. by Jim Stark. He is executive director of the Michigan Sports Legacy Conservancy, and he is a weekly baseball and pro basketball contributor to The Drive with Jack on the Spotlight Radio Network. Jim, how are you? Hey, guys, how are you? I'll well, tell you, I'm, Purdue may not be the cradle of quarterbacks, but it certainly is a cradle of upsets. Boy, their, their record of upsetting teams in the top 10 has become pretty uh, pretty surprising. Yeah, the most in the country in terms of upsets over top five teams, and especially when you talk about being unranked when that happens. But we don't have any more baseball to talk about after this week in our World Series recap, but Hey, the Tigers have some new players, and we'll continue to get them. We'll talk about that and much, much more coming up here on Press Pass. American Metal Roofs. Can we use your home in our advertising? Qualified homes can save big. And this month, veterans can take an extra $500 discount. Call American Metal Roofs today or visit AmericanMetalRoofs.com. Seeking success for yourself and others? Looking for a career that positively impacts people and communities? The Michigan Department of Corrections is hiring up to 800 corrections officers. Get paid, plus benefits, while you train. Make a difference while also enjoying a rewarding career. The next training academy is January 24th. Apply at michigan.gov slash mdoc jobs. Join the team at the Michigan Department of Corrections. Committed to protect, dedicated to success. No matter where you call home, everyone deserves reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we've invested billions to light up our 5G network across America. And to celebrate, we've got an exclusive offer for your town. Introducing the Hometown Discount. Right now, switch to T-Mobile at your local store and get 25% off for life. That's right, 25% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Get coverage and value with T-Mobile's Hometown Discount today. Find out which deals are too good to be true. Where and when to find the biggest savings and the latest scams designed to drain your bank account. Watch Don't Waste Your Money, Monday on Fox 47 News at 10. This city could use all the heroes it could get. 911, all new Mondays on Fox. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. 
Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our DART difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. DART Bank, for what matters most. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 107 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you, as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. There you see the latest NCAA Division I pass defense stats. 130 teams, and Michigan State is 130th, and they're not very close to number 129, uh, almost 30 yards a game, allowing more than the Duke Blue Devils. Uh, Rico, the Spartans had won three close games, uh, by three against Nebraska in overtime, by five at Indiana with a rally, and by four, an incredible comeback versus Michigan. You can say that they could be, and perhaps even should be five and four today. The fact is they are not. They're eight and one, but MSU's pass defense was finally its undoing in West Lafayette. What can defensive coordinator Scotty Hazelton and secondary coach Harlan Barnett do to stop the bleeding? Pray for rain and snow in the last three games. Because that's probably the only thing that can help stop that defense. The blueprint is out there. And, I mean, when you look at the past two quarterbacks and Aiden O'Connell and, and Kay McNamara having career-type games, and you see the quarterbacks that they're going to have to be play, facing, Jack, there's not much that they can do. I think they just have to grin and bear it and endure it and hope that in the, in the games that they won, the defense stepped up and made big plays in the fourth quarter, whether it was interception, a knockdown pass, yeah. a tackle, a sack. They got none of that yesterday. They got none of the football luck that had, that kind of helped them throughout this season when they were 8-0. So you got to hope that a player can just step up and make that play the way they did in the first eight games and not like they did against Purdue. Rico, let's take a look at the scores by quarter against the spoiler makers. And you texted me at halftime and said the defense needed to be much more aggressive, but I don't think you meant back-to-back -back personal fouls. Just after the Spartans had tied the game at 21, it's tough enough when an opponent converts on 12 of 20 third and fourth downs, but even tougher when a penalty-prone team hands it 30 free yards in walk-offs. Yeah, and, and that wasn't even the worst penalty, Jack. I think the worst penalty was number 30 when he got caught for illegal uh, motion. And, yeah. you know, Michigan State punched the ball. Barrier gets it down to the three. They re-kick yeah. it, and Purdue gets it at the 50. That's a 47-yard swing. But, you know, the, one of the penalties, Simeon Barrow, they have to fix the targeting penalty. If you're If you're the offensive player and you lower your head, the defensive player was already going low. You just went yeah. lower than him, and they hit you in the head. But yeah. the defense, they were – I thought when they got the turnover, when Eric Snow got the turnover, the fumble, I thought maybe this is their chance to, to flip this thing around. But they couldn't get off the field on third down, Jack. And, and when you can't do that, you're going to lose games. Uh, Darius Snow was a, a bright light for Michigan State. But, hey, uh, when you're playing in that secondary yesterday, you had a lot of chances make tackles jim uh kenneth walker the third did all he could despite losing a fumble for the first time in his three-year college career as we take a look at his amazing season thus far did anything change with his heisman trophy chances 
Well, you know, it's never good to lose a game when you're trying to make that playoff, especially with the Heisman, the national uh, attraction. But I tell you, 23 for 146 uh, uh, with a touchdown. Uh, no, he didn't hurt anything. He didn't help maybe this game. He yeah. didn't hurt it. But I'll tell you, when a team makes as many mistakes as MSU did yesterday, it never helps uh, despite the fact that you didn't do anything poorly. It's still, it still kind of paints you with the same brush. But let's face it, he's still the front runner until he uh, proves he's not. Rico, we did not see Matt Coglin kick against Purdue. Uh, we did, however, see a tweet of his successful marriage proposal in Spartan Stadium. And that's not when he got hurt, right? We can we can clarify that much of it at least. I don't know. I mean, because I, honestly, I think myself and everybody was thinking, did he hurt his knee when he proposed? Like, wh- where is he? It, it, it was like. Are they running a trick play? What is going on? I kind of felt like I was being punked because so many people were injured and didn't know that they were. Everybody knew about Naylor. Nobody knew about Horse. Nobody knew about Coglis. Like, I, I, I have no idea, but I, I hope that he didn't hurt himself proposing. If he did, he may want to rethink this whole marriage thing. That could be a bad sign. That may be why Rico Beard has never proposed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jim, let's take a look at MSU's schedule. As Mel Tucker correctly pointed out afterward, not much has changed in terms of MSU's goals. Uh, Win out, and the Spartans will be Big Ten champs for the third time in nine seasons and likely be headed back to the college football playoff. Jim, what do they do in their last three regular season games? Well, Jake, I think it's interesting. Didn't they lose their eighth game in the playoff year uh, the first time, too? They they were undefeated. They lost that game, and they came back to win. So the, the, the precedent's been set. I tell you, to me, Maryland is, is a good game, but then it all comes down to Penn State those last two games, and, and those are big games. Yeah, uh, if you can do that, you deserve it. We'll be right back with more. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakmouth.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. At the David Chapman Agency, it's our knowledge and expertise that make insuring home, auto, and farm easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about you. With the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, visit davidchapmanagency.com. Tune in each night all this week to watch a fashion show featuring Becker's Bridal, showcasing different dresses each night during Fox 47's News at 10. To vote for your favorite, go to fox47news.com slash Becker's. Experience the magic at Becker's Bridal. Fox 47 gives you more in your morning, and we're giving you more money heading into the holidays with Fox Giving. Watch Fox 47 Morning News weekdays from 6 to 9 a.m. and look for the clue of the day. Enter the answer online at fox47news.com, and you can win $200. Plus, Fox 47 will make a donation in your name to a local food bank. Neighbors helping neighbors right here in mid-Michigan. Feel the spirit of giving with Fox Giving. Watch Fox 47 Morning News weekdays from 6 to 9, and you could win 200 bucks with Fox Giving. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Out of the Blue segment, talking Michigan Wolverines. Brought to you by nobody. Nobody. 
There you see the pro football focus look at Aiden Hutchinson and his bookend, David Ojabo, and uh, certainly Hutchinson projected to be a high NFL draft choice, and Ojabo showing that he also has a skill that is in demand. Jim, if Aiden Hutchinson and uh, David Ojabo aren't the best pair of defensive ends in the country, opponents would rather not see the set that is number one. Uh, do both of these guys look like future NFL impact players to you? And how far can they carry the Wolverines? Well, well, Hutch is no, is no surprise. I think everyone's expecting him to be a top player. But the fact is, he's talking about now a top 10 draft pick, maybe even a top five pick. Now, Ajabo kind of came out of out of less uh, renown. We didn't expect as much out of him. Uh, but certainly, right. when you have two ends like that, you can only double team one. One's going to be open, and yeah, they can make a huge impact on Michigan, uh, Michigan's defense the rest of the way. But yeah, they can both be. There's no more important position in the NFL other than quarterback and right left tackle than rushing end uh, and rush that outside rusher. So they both have a chance to be real impact players in the NFL. Rico, let's take a look at the scores by quarter in Ann Arbor last night. Was there ever a time in your mind that the game was in doubt? And why did U of M have so much easier a time against the Hoosiers than MSU did in Bloomington? Well, I don't think the game was ever in doubt, Jack. Uh, the only thing for Michigan, they just kind of went uh, on brand, kicking so many field goals. But when I looked at this game, it was easier because they were going up against Indiana's third string quarterback. And, you know, that that's a step down. And they contained him. They frustrated him. The moment was big. It was at night. It was in Ann Arbor. And you saw he looked like a third-string freshman QB. And Michigan did what they were supposed to do. Now, like I said, I, maybe kick, maybe score some more touchdowns. That's the big Achilles heel for Michigan in these upcoming games. Rico, I always tell you not to waste time with fools on Twitter. And I should probably just let this slide. But as we check out the latest trash tweet, uh, to the Spartans from ex-Wolverines offensive tackle Taylor Lewan, whose playing career included four losses to the Spartans. Why does he insist on saying such stupid things and inciting a, a litany of comebacks uh, as sharp as MSU's when it was down 30 to 14? Because, Jack, this idiot doesn't realize he's in the NFL and there's bigger fish to fry. So he's going back to his glory days in, in college, which really weren't that glorious. But this was it. This is this Al Bundy moment. He feels good about himself. And he needs to feel right because he made a complete idiot out of himself by tweeting the stuff out to Michigan State. So he's just going to keep doing this. Hail to the living vicarious. <laughs> Yeah, uh, someone said in response to him that uh, it felt better than some co-eds when they ran into him in, in light of some allegations that were made. And then others said, well, uh, they didn't feel quite as good as Will Golston and Shalit Calhoun did when they kicked his butt. And uh, there were a lot of responses, and I'm not sure if he regretted doing it, but he keeps doing it. Yeah, I mean, maybe you just get Golson to come in and throw punch him. That worked in the game. <laughs> I don't want to get into the legal stuff, but, you know, he, he's a scumbag. He did scumbag things. And you would think that he would just want to go away because people haven't forgotten the alleged intimidation that he did on some co yeah. Uh Jim, let's take a look at U of M's schedule. And I think we can agree this is a very good football team. Uh, do the Wolverines beat Penn State next Saturday at Beaver Stadium if they open as a one-point underdog? And is this finally the year they have a chance to get past Ohio State, something they've done only once in the past 17 years? Well, there's no question they have a team good enough to win out, Jack. I agree with you. They're getting better every game. Uh, the quarterback situation obviously has improved the last uh, uh, three or four games. But the key is going to be beating Penn State. If they beat Penn State – Absolutely, they can win out. They can beat win at Maryland and have, take Michigan or take Ohio State at home. But let's face it, winning at Penn State is a huge, yeah. huge win. Absolutely. I'm not sure. We'll be right back. We'll look at the Big Ten in the national landscape next. Accent Garage Door is home of a $39 service fee. Apply it to any service or repair. We offer fast, friendly, reliable service with fully stocked trucks, saving you time and worry. 
We strive to be your go-to garage door company. First, there was Vegas, then Atlantic City. Now, your pocket. DraftKings has an online casino where you can play your favorite games whenever and wherever you want. Slots, blackjack, live dealer games, and more. New casino players can get a deposit bonus up to $2,000 plus free casino credits. Download the app or visit us online. Try DraftKings Casino today with our exclusive offer and experience the casino floor like never before. Hi, Bob Hoffman. Join me every Friday night as I take you across mid-Michigan and introduce you to people making a difference in the lives of others. Watch Good Neighbors with Bob Hoffman, Friday, only on Fox 47 News at 7. They're going to have their lives turned upside down. The Big Leap, all new Mondays at 9 on Fox. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. There you see uh, the top three teams in the Big Ten East. Amazing parody there. Uh, Jim Stark, can you remember a year when one division of any conference has had three eight and one teams? And what's it going to take to hand Ryan Day's Buckeyes the first Big Ten loss in his three seasons as a head coach in Columbus? Well, I think it's kind of ironic, Jack, because didn't they split off in the divisions to make sure that teams couldn't run away with it and everyone had at least a chance for their division championship? Well, think if, if that was the case, that teams in the West would be out of it by now. So at least somebody still has a chance to be in the division or the playoff. But yeah, eight, eight, three, eight, one teams is amazing. But the Big Ten has shown them, themselves to be one of the top conferences in the country this year all year long. So someone's got to win those games. And, and so far, those three teams have. And Rico, I think didn't you know, State, Big you know, Ten, Rico, I think you said the Big Ten split into divisions so that there was no chance that Michigan could lose to Ohio State twice. <laughs> well, no, that's when they yeah, they, they came back. Leaders and legends were so that they would play on the final week and then they would play again in the in the in, in, in Big Ten championship game. Yeah. Of course, never that never happened. happened but, right. uh, you know. Well, uh, w during the break, ladies and gentlemen, we heard Jim Stark say that Michigan's going to run the table, including a win over the Buckeyes after a win in State College. And for our regular viewers here, uh, I will be posting Jim's cell phone number a little bit later. I know a lot of you will like to fatten your bank accounts, and he's just a guy to talk with. Uh, Rico, as we look at the Big Ten standings, the parallels to 2015 are eerie. MSU moved to 8-0 with a win over Michigan, then gave up close to 40 points on the road to fall to 8-1 that year, same as now. 
And they're already big underdogs in the next to last game in Columbus. Same scheduling, but this time they have a healthy quarterback. Uh, what percent chance do you give the Spartans of pulling another stunning upset? And uh, which teams from this list are going to play in Indy and in Pasadena? Well, Jack, it's funny. The irony is in 2015, Michigan State finished home against Maryland on the road yeah. at Ohio State and home against Penn State. Sound familiar? They would need, honestly, I think they would need some poor weather conditions like what happened in 2015 in order to go in and upset the Buckeyes. Right now, I would say they probably have a 10 to 15% chance of going in there to win. Jack, only because how Michigan State was kind of playing on borrowed time. I don't know if people are paying attention, but Ohio State has not looked as dominant as have they been. They keep finding ways to win, but... You know, between Penn State and, and, and Nebraska yesterday, they're not invulnerable. Right. And I think that you'll probably still get Ohio State, the Big Ten Championship game, and either Michigan or Michigan State will end up in the Rose Bowl. Jim, uh, let's take a look at the last seven scores from yesterday, uh, the game this weekend. What stood out to you? Oh, well, I think without a doubt, uh, it was the per Michigan State playing so poorly against Purdue and, 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 and losing that game, which they really wanted to win. I think everything else kind of fell the way we expected. I think Minnesota was a little bit of an upset. But I saw that, that uh, P.J. got a, a seven-year extension in, uh, in yeah. Minnesota, so they're going to be rolling the boat there for quite a while. So they like him over there. But, but I thought the Michigan State upset uh, or, or loss to Purdue was the biggest upset. Yeah, when you think about uh, Michigan State losing by 11, actually scored the same number of points that Michigan did and had quite a few more yards in the Wolverines, but that defense just made it impossible. Uh, Rico, as we look ahead to next week, uh, give me your scores for Maryland MSU and U of M Penn State, and can you pick a possible upset? Uh, the Maryland MSU is just is shocking. I, I think this was going to be a high scoring thing. If you're into betting, take the over. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking probably, you know, it could be something like 42 38 Michigan State. Michigan Penn State, if, if they're still kicking field goals, man, I'm looking at probably, you know, 27 to 20 Penn State. Rico, uh, let's take a look at the new AP Top 25. Uh, MSU dropped from fifth to eighth in the media poll, one spot ahead of U of M. The coaches flipped that order, put the Wolverines eighth just behind Notre Dame. But if you look at the first college football playoff rankings from last Tuesday, uh, the top 10 looks very different. Uh, how will the committee rank the top six this week? I think top six is going to be Georgia. And then after that, it gets weird. I mean, Oregon won. Alabama had to squeak it out against a bad LSU team. Ohio State didn't look good, but they won. Uh, Cincinnati didn't look great. Michigan State loses. I think they probably fall to like six or seven um, wins, so they make jump state. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be weird. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures.
Catch live with Kelly and Ryan weekdays at 9 right after Fox 47 Morning News. Live Uncommon. Check out Concordia University and Arbor today. Nahnu Jiranoko. Somos tu familia. We're your friends. I am a Michigan State Trooper. I am a Michigan State Trooper. I am a Michigan State Trooper. If you're looking for a career you can be proud of, if you're looking to make a difference, the Michigan State Police need people like you. Do you have what it takes to change your community, to change your career, to change your life? Contact the Michigan State Police today to find out more. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, visit Brian and his terrific staff at theticketmachine.com. There you see the lineup for Tuesday Champions Classic at Madison Square Garden. And the Kansas Jayhawks will meet Michigan State, the first game at 7, followed by Kentucky and Duke and the Mike Krzyzewski farewell tour. Get used to that. You're going to see it all season. Rico, what chance do you give of the new-look Spartans of stunning the Jayhawks in their debut Tuesday night at MSG. Jack, I give them a chance. You know, I'll probably give them like a, maybe a 40% chance. Kansas is going to be minus one of their scores who got into some legal troubles. Uh, he's going to be suspended for a couple of games. That helps the Spartans out. It is going to come down to, you know, how quickly this team can come together. Walker at the point guard. Didn't really show a lot in the preseason, but I think he was more of a facilitator. You know, Max Christie, how big will this moment be at Madison Square Garden? I'd have a chance, but I probably would still favor Kansas as of right now. So you would give Michigan State a better shot than you would when they play football in Columbus, yes. but uh, maybe not as good as beating Penn State uh, the last game of the season at Spartan State. Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, Jim, let's take a look at uh, MSU's history in uh, the season's premier tip-off event. It says a lot about the program that it is one of the four annual participants, and a lot of schools would kill for the right to be in this. Uh, how do you gauge the Spartan success against the best programs in the game? And that's all part of playing the toughest schedules in the country the past 27 years. Well, I always like the fact about Tom Izzo that he loves to play tough games early on. Uh, I, I think I think he wants to teach. He wants to coach every single game, whether they're 20 points up, 20 points down. You see him coaching, teaching, and he likes playing tough teams because his young players develop quicker that way. So, And there's no one that, that has a tougher schedule, as you said, Jack, than Tom Izzo and, his, and the Spartans. I think it makes him a better team for it. Four and six in this tournament over the past decade. Uh, Rico, how would you assess MSU's progress in the two preseason games against Ferris State and Grand Valley State? What impressed you and what still concerns you? Well, like I said, looking at Tyson Walker run the team, it, it was a point guard that they haven't had. You know, even with A.J. Hoggard out there, you, you see a bigger, a better presence. I like what Max Christie has done. He, I think he's going to be the leading scorer, the freshman wing player. It just takes him a little time to heat up. His second halves have been better than the first. I like Bingham and, and the way he's blocking down low. But they're still missing that back-to-the-back -back basket big man, the guy that can just get you the old-fashioned and one. You can need that in the Big Ten when you're going up against the Hunter Dickinsons and the Kofi Coburns of the world. Yeah. And they don't have that right now. Yeah, the trick for Michigan State is going to be making those guys guard too and maybe drawing them away from the basket. They're so much bigger than some other players, although Marcus Bingham now, he might be a legitimate seven-footer. He's still thin, but much stronger than he was. And talk about Tyson Walker. Uh, he's a better shooter than he has shown. He hasn't taken many shots. He's trying to get everyone else involved in the offense, and Tom is not worried about that. Uh, Rico, let's take a look at the AP basketball preseason top 25. And uh, the Spartans came in at number 26 just missing this list, in terms of the Big Ten's ample representation, uh, which team or teams do you really like from this list? Uh, do you think maybe U of M will repeat as a regular season champ and, and Illinois could rule the Big Ten tournament again? 
Well, let's just hope it's not a repeat of what happened last year. And we thought the Big Ten was the end all be all and got to yeah. the tournament and they all mostly went out in the first round. But I think it's going to be Michigan and Purdue. That's going to be the must watch games when they play each other. I like Purdue. I like Jaden Ivey. I think he's probably, if I had a vote, he would be my player of the preseason player of the year. Um, but yeah, when they play each other, that, they're going to battle back and forth and test each other. Probably going to split at Chrysler and Mackey. But yeah, I think it's going to come down to those two teams. You know, Rico, it's it's really interesting with the Boilers because they had so much success and so many league championships under Gene Cady. They have not been to a Final Four in 41 years. When you think about Izzo being to eight of them, and Purdue would die just to have one chance to get there again. Uh, Jim, switching to the NBA, Cade Cunningham has had a rough start for the one-win Pistons. What's wrong with motorcade? Uh, how concerned should the Pistons be, and how worried should the fans be? Well, I think it's way too early for concern. you got to remember, he's a one-and-done uh, player. He's learning to play at, at, at NBA level, NBA speed against NBA players he didn't see in college. And let's face it, he not only missed the first four games of the season, he missed most of the preseason with that injury. He's got a long way to catch up. He'll be fine. I just think the bigger concern is the Pistons off to such a slow start. I didn't expect to see that out of this team. I think he's going to have to shoot better than 14% from deep and 23% from the field. He's getting covered by some guys a little more his size now. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk baseball, the World Series, and the Tigers up next on Press Pass. The holidays are doubly important this year, so make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's Cheese. Kroger, Press Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Kroger. Fresh for everyone. If you're planning a wedding, then you'll want to tune in to watch a live fashion show featuring Becker's Bridal. All this week during Fox 47's News at 10, we'll showcase a different dress style each night of the week. You'll have the opportunity to rate the dress of the day and at the end of the week vote for your favorite dress for a chance to win the wedding dress of your dreams and a ten thousand dollar wedding on the michigan princess to learn more go to fox 47 news.com slash beckers experience the magic at becker's bridal dr raj kuthrapali cool redefined Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff for the best in Mediterranean food. That's why I'm there every week. There you see a salute to the 2021 World Series champions, the Atlanta Braves getting it done in six. 
winning in Houston, but been a long time. You have to go back to 1995 for the Braves' last world championship. Not like they hadn't been good. Uh, 14 straight division championships, but something always seemed to happen. And uh, there were fans in Atlanta who said, we have to see it to believe it. We've had uh, the rug pulled out from under us too many times. So, uh, Rico, congratulations to your favorite team over several decades. Uh, how did the Braves beat the Brewers, the Los Angeles Dodgers? Uh, how did they beat the Houston Astros all as underdogs? And they did that after winning just 88 games in the regular season. Well, let me first say thank you. And I was one who did not believe it was going to happen. They were up 7 nothing. In the uh, final game, I was just thinking, how are they going to blow this thing like every other team in the city of Atlanta would do? Didn't. Freeman steps on the bag, and they win. Jack, it all came down to the free agent moves and the trades that they made right at the trade deadline in July, bringing in guys like Duvall, and Eddie Rosario, Jock Peterson, and strengthening up that bullpen. And, and they just they pushed all their chips in the table, and they went from broke, kind of like that, what Mel Tucker did with his Michigan State football team. They flipped the roster. Well, when you have three pitchers like Minter, Magic, and Smith waiting in the bullpen to close it down, if you can get a lead going into the seventh, you feel really good about your chances. Uh, Jim, let's take a look at the last 10 World Series winners. And uh, you see the San Francisco Giants had the best record in baseball this year. Uh, but they had won in the even-numbered years, 2010, 12, and 14, and there are a couple of repeaters on this list. But I think the amazing part, Jim, is that you don't see the Yankees anywhere, and the Dodgers, with that one win in 2020, that was their only championship in 33 years. Well, I think, Jack, it shows that you can win without being a big market team. You see the Royals in there. You see the Giants in there. They're not necessarily a big market team. But it also proves you can win by developing your own players. You can't just win by going out and spending a lot of money. You have to develop your own players. A lot of those teams you just saw on that list developed your own players, especially this year's team, Atlanta Braves. A lot of different paths to the finish line, uh, but – some teams never seem to get there. Uh, they lose sight of it or trip in the home stretch. Uh, Jim, shifting the conversation to your Detroit Tigers, uh, we have seen a lot of abysmal baseball over the past five years, uh, the worst in, in the game. But this year seemed different. Uh, 77 wins and could have been more. What is a reasonable expectation? for next season's win total, and how many years will it be before Detroit is a division champion again? Well, there's no reason to believe they won't be 500 next year, Jack. If they don't finish 500 next year, that'll be a disappointment. I think the year after that, 23, they should be contending for a playoff spot or even division, depending how well they do in some of these offseason moves and who they end up getting for shortstop. Well, you saw that my one catcher uh, prospect to move, bring in retired on me, Buster Posey, but they made a great move on the street to fill that catching hole. Yeah, someone told Buster that uh, you had said he was going to be a Tiger. And he said, well, I'll retire first. So uh, no way that was going to happen. He was going to retire a giant. Jim, uh, we know you have a master plan for the remaking of the Tigers. We have heard about this on the Drive with Jack. But acquiring a two-time gold glove catcher Tucker Barnhart, and if you have seen him, he is a master at framing pitches. He probably steals more strikes than any catcher I have seen. But this trade with Cincinnati can only help. How much does this acquisition mean? It means a lot, Jack, because number one, it gives them a left-handed hit catcher to, to platoon with Eric Haas. It fills a, hole, a big hole they, they had, but it also means they didn't have to go into the free agent market and spend money. They got him with a trade so that they have, you know, the free agent market is always a crapshoot. They got him on a trade before he even started. Smart move. They picked up $8.5 million in salary, but that's, that's not a lot for a starting catcher. But it shows they're ready to start spending some money. So I think the fact they went out and filled their hole right away shows how aggressive they're going to be in this offseason. Well, what about the shortstop position? That's the one that everyone is focused on. And a lot of projections now that Carlos Correa, turning down that offer from Houston, might be interested in coming to Detroit. 
hooking up again with A.J. Hinch. Maybe your guy Marcus Simeon or someone else. Well, I like Marcus Simeon. I think he's the best value out there. I think uh, Correa will be a, a $300 million, million dollar player. Tigers don't have that appetite, but I think Simeon will fit their, both their appetite for money and to fill that role they need because he can play sec- short and second, which gives them the flexibility they want. Rico, they might get a shortstop, they might get a pitcher, they might get both, but they're going to look like a very different team as they continue to try to get back to respectability. We'll be right back. American Metal Roofs. Can we use your home in our advertising? Qualified homes can save big. And this month, veterans can take an extra $500 discount. Call American Metal Roofs today or visit AmericanMetalRoofs.com. No matter where you call home, everyone deserves reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we've invested billions to light up our 5G network across America. And to celebrate, we've got an exclusive offer for your town. Introducing the Hometown Discount. Right now, switch to T-Mobile at your local store and get 25% off for life. That's right, 25% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Get coverage and value with T-Mobile's Hometown Discount today. There's plenty of fun to be had in mid-Michigan, if you know where to look. From finding fabulous foods to having fun in the sun, we've got you covered. Check out Things to Do with Tiana Jenkins at fox47news.com. Don't miss The Masked Singer, all new Wednesdays at 8, 7 central on Fox. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. There you see a look at the worst seasons in Detroit Lions history, the litany of ineptitude highlighted by the 0-16 campaign in 2008. And gentlemen, uh, (laughs) I laugh when I think that uh, Jim Brandstatter not only broadcast Lions games as a color guy then, but also the University of Michigan games. And besides that 0-16 mark, the Wolverines were 3-9 and in Rich Rodriguez's first year. So he called 28 games and 25 of them were losses. Uh, Jim, uh, I was someone there for the Lions' only two postseason wins in the past 67 seasons. That's a long time. I was there in 1957, and then I was there again when it looked like they might actually do something in the early 90s. But uh, when you look at this franchise and how it has done what it has done, could this year's team, go lower than any team has ever been and lose 17 times. Well, Jack, I was there in 92 as well. I wasn't alive in 57, but I was there in 92. Um, so I, sh- I share your your unique view of, of having so few wins in a playoff game. But remember, that 08 team 
the only reason they didn't lose 17 games, they didn't play 17 games. They may have lost the 17th game. This year, the team is just as bad. The injuries have hurt them very badly. The, the quarterback situation has not, has not helped them at all. They could lose 17 games, but I'm not saying they're any worse than 08 because they're losing more games because they play more games. But this is, this is an equally bad team to 08, without a doubt. Rico, let's take a look at Detroit's latest skid. And uh, going back to last year, it's 12 losses, four last season, and now eight. What has changed under first-year coach Dan Campbell? <laughs> Everything, man. The fact that at least in, in, in 2008, there was hope. You had a young Calvin Johnson. There was a quarterback that you could draft named Matt Stafford who could possibly help this team and fix it. And there's nothing there. And, and, and he has guys that, to be honest, man, 20, probably 20 out of the 22 guys on the starting roster wouldn't be playing on any other team right now, let alone starting. You know, he, he only has a couple of guys, and then those guys are injured. It, it's just not a good recipe for success. Jim, let's take a look at the NFC North. And the uh, Vikings lost in overtime to the Ravens today. Uh, Packers struggled in KC without an unvaccinated Aaron Rodgers. And the Bears are in Pittsburgh for Monday Night Football. Is this the worst division in football? Well, not, without a doubt. I mean, I think the fact that uh, the Rodgers, even despite his craziness, the Packers are still far and away the best team in the division tells you how good or how bad his division is. And, and wouldn't this have been a great year for the Tiger for the Lions to have something? It's been a great year to try to be competitive because the the, the Bears and, and, and Vikings are not very good. But it's 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 putrid as far as a division uh, compared against the rest of the NFL. Yeah, I think the uh, yeah. NFC East and the AFC East uh, – uh, they might even have a leg up on uh, the NFC North. Jim, I uh, want to take a look at the Lions schedule and what remains. Nine games left. When do they win? Or are we talking about 2022 when that happens? Well, I, I think one of the games against the Vikings or the Bears on the 25th of November or the 5th of, of December is their best chance to win a game. They're both home. They're both not very good teams. If they don't win one of those two games, Jack, they may not win the whole season. But I, that's that's the best bet to win a game, one of those two. Wow. Well, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, they've had enough turkeys in there uh, without that. <laughs> we'll be right back, and we'll have our weekly awards. Cool and smooth next. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Hi, I'm Patrick with the Holton Diamonddale Insurance Agency. We support local businesses like Gravity Smokehouse. We also partner with Auto Owners Insurance. If you'd like a no-hassle quote for your business, call your hometown team today. Let MSU FCU drive down your payment with a low-rate auto loan. Enjoy flexible terms and rates as low as 1.99% APR. Visit msufcu.org to refinance today. 
Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for a cool and smooth segment brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Oakham is north and south, North Lansing, and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butterburgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's Welcome to Delicious. That was the play that uh, killed Michigan State yesterday at Ross Aid Stadium. It was a reverse, and then a flea flicker off of that, and then a screen pass. And I have never seen one like that. Usually, after the flea flicker, the ball's going way downfield. But they had a convoy of blockers, gentlemen, and uh, Michigan State uh, just tacking onto the list of passes completed, uh, 40 of them in all against Michigan State yesterday. All right, Team 423. Who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint Explosion this week? Rico Beard, what do you have for us for our play of the week? Jack, it's funny because that play was in the running for my play of the week. But, I mean, I, I would have saw high school teams tackle better than what I saw on that play. There was nothing athletic about that. But it happened. But, honestly, I think I, I'm going to go with a play that I don't know if it saved the Cincinnati Bearcats season or maybe it keeps them out of the playoffs. But Cincinnati beats Tulsa 28 to 28 to 20. On a fourth down, Tulsa's Steven Anderson fumbles the ball on fourth and goal, and he's diving over. He loses the ball. Cincinnati gets it back, and they preserve the victory, keeping their season undefeated. But, yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to help them, but, man, that was a heck of a play. It was horrible the way that Tulsa lost that game. So I'm going to go with that play. Uh, must have been a big play for you to not pick any of the plays that led to the Braves World Championship. Jim, uh, what about our team of the week? Lots of options. What do you have for us? Well, I, I want to just know I'm not doing this to kiss up to uh, Rico, but I am picking the Atlanta Braves as my team of the week. I don't know how you can't. They're a team that was struggling in the midseason. They pick up four players. They pick up Duvall, Rosario, uh, uh, Peterson, and Jorge Soler, who ended up being the MVP for the World Series. They lose uh, Ronald Acuna, their best player, and Charlie Morton, their best uh, pitcher, and they went on to win the World Series. And if you noted in the, in the Game 6 deciding game, those four players batted uh, one, two, uh, five and six. So they weren't just added on players. They were key players. So when you can rebuild your team like that in the run in the middle of the year, you are definitely my team of the year and this week, team of the week. Uh, I want to add a couple of honorable mentions, gentlemen. Uh, what Purdue did uh, against Michigan State, not their first big win of the season. Uh, they beat number two, Iowa, throttled the Hawkeyes in Iowa City. And it's the first time of beating two teams ranked that high since 1960. And uh, Purdue just manages to get it done in that underdog role over and over. And how about the Jacksonville Jaguars beating the Buffalo Bills today? And a uh, big smile on Urban Meyer's face. I haven't seen that often lately. But for our player of the week, I'm going to stay in West Lafayette and talk about Aiden O'Connell, another Aiden, not Aiden Hutchinson, and a different AOC, not the one in the House of Representatives. This is the one who represented the gold and black exceptionally well. This is a former walk-on, gentlemen. 536 yards, and uh, Michigan State had no answers. Started the year, and Purdue was rotating three quarterbacks. Now they've got their guy, and uh, they get Ohio State next week. So we'll see if he can do some damage there. I want to thank Rico Beard. You can hear him on 97.1 The Ticket and Jim Stark, the Michigan Sports Legacy Conservancy, and you can hear him on The Drive with Jack. Have a great